An event in Sweden is examining the deep Christian roots of Europe. The EWTN Gotlam Forum drew clergy members and lay people to an island in Sweden filled with ancient ruins, including many churches. Joining us now is Father Elias Leds, co-founder of Gotland Forum. Father, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. So what is the purpose of this forum? Great to be with you, Tracy, first of all. Well, a forum is always a place where people exchange their knowledge and their experience. That's first of all. And um, Ulf Silverling, the founder of uh, EWTN in Sweden, and me, we had lively discussions. And we figured out that there is an enormous crisis in our Christianity in Northern Europe. Um, and that there people, young, especially young people, are longing for something that is tradition, that is authentic. So we want to help them discover their true ancestors, not the ancestors that were reinvented by Hollywood or by computer games, but the Vikings and the Rangians, the Northern Europeans, as they really were and as they really became when they were, uh, became Christians. And Father, I'm curious, why did you decide to organize this forum now? There's an immense uh, ignorance in the West about Christianity in Middle and Eastern Europe, and also about the influence that uh, the, the, the Vikings, the Northern Europeans, the Scandinavians had on that. And in Northern Euro Europe itself, in Scandinavia, there is a spiritual crisis because it's a very secularized society. Uh, and very often, the sort of the hunger for a past, a living past, is filled up with uh, films and uh, stories about a past that never existed. The Viking past is either seen as something incredibly savage and violent, or it is idealized as the true freedom that existed before the coming of this uh, tyranny called Christianity, and those are totally false uh, images of the past. We want to rediscover that we don't just have a tradition, we have living ancestors, and if you are conservative, uh, that's not enough. You don't preserve, you don't conserve, but we are called to, to fructify, to make bear fruit today what we receive from our ancestors. Father, before I let you go, um, quickly, I know this may seem like a big question, um, but, you know, looking forward, how do you think Christianity can be revived in Europe? And also, you, also are you thinking about maybe hosting uh, this forum again? Well, of course, I hope to, uh, to have this forum again. Um, I'll give you a bit of personal uh, opinion about what I think is lacking in the re-evangelization of Europe is that very often Christianity has a very special kind of decadence. It means a Christianity without religion. Uh, it means a Christianity uh, with uh, lots of mercy, but no truth or justice. Um, I find always the term inclusive very dangerous because if you want to include everything, you, you don't give a fair choice to people whether they want to belong or not to your community. And I think it's very important if we want to really uh, re rediscover the transcendent, the vertical nature of our Christian faith. Christ is the Son of God. He is God. We have to return to that very basic instinct of man. He wants to adore. Now, Father Elias Leds, co-founder of Gotland Forum, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you very much.